Enid and area residents packed the booths at the 24th annual United Way Chili Cook-Off to sample recipes, witness the costumes, and raise money for the central source that provides major funding for local community agencies. We're out here at the 24th annual United Way Chili Cook-Off. We have 38 different booths, 38 different chili cooks. Um, the place is packed, raising money for 16 member agencies, plus a lot of the other nonprofits through our venture grant. It's a fun, great way to come out and support the United Way. For us, this is one of our major fundraisers of the year, um, so th this helps us make that goal that we set every year. That This helps us support the member agencies who are actually making the change in the community, who are working with the kids who have been abused, who are working in the domestic violence shelters. Um, this helps us improve the community is what it's all about. The year was festive as Enid businesses and individuals once again joined forces to help the community, some of them for the first year and several continuing a tradition of many years. This is our first year and it's really exciting. We've been you, coming for years, but this is the first year we've participated. Did you um, have a contest or anything for the chili or did you guys just have your own secret recipe? Well, I actually won the chili cook-off at World Harvest Church, so I thought I'd give it a try here. All right. What's your secret recipe? Having my husband do it so that I don't have to. Ah. How long have you guys been participating? This is our third year to participate. What do you think about it? Oh, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to support the community. I'm glad to be here. And I think the United Way does a lot of really important things. Wonders of the World White Chicken Chili, and it is actually a recipe of our Northwestern Nursing Department. They won our on-campus chili cook-off. I told them they didn't have to work fall break, and they just had to give up their recipe. So a lot of people like it today. Winners were announced as the final hour of the two-hour chili tasting luncheon wound down. Best booth category was announced first, and the prize went to Continental Resources. YWCA was second, and St. Mary's Regional Medical Center was third. Then came the taste contest announcement. One source came in third in Best Chili, followed by KOFM second, and a familiar grand prize winner. And the first place chili, you guys are just doing it this year. The community, however, was the real winner as participants pointed out that they were there to help out. This would be a blast and a good way to promote the business and help United Way. Just supporting the community and we think United Way is a great cause with all the agencies and, and just pulling together with everyone. It's a fun time. Again, another successful year thanks to the people here in Enid. For Enid News TV, I'm Violet Hassler.